Hi everybody, this is Jenny and welcome to Miami Lit. Today I'm sharing with you one of my most treasured possessions, Galen Leather's writing box. My writing box is about three years old, actually three years and three months old because it was a Christmas present three years ago. And I wanted to share with you how it's held up through active use uh, throughout the past three years. Um, if you are not familiar with Galen Leather's writing box, it is inspired by uh, Thomas Jefferson's portable writing desk. So they had me right there. Immediately I knew I, I wanted to, to have this. Uh, the difference is that they've created their own modern design and I love the simplistic style that they went with. The wood is absolutely beautiful. It is... Um, if I'm not mistaken, and I'll link down below their website with all their information. It is walnut, but don't, you know, don't quote me because I could be wrong. It's been a, a long time since I've had this. I also, well, I didn't purchase. My husband purchased the um, leather straps, which are absolutely beautiful and so, so convenient. Here I'm showing you what I carry inside, which is kind of like a mini curated version of all the stuff I like to use on the daily. So there are um, these uh, sticky dots. I don't think that's the correct name, but it's by Post-it. So it's uh, these dot stickers. Um, here's my Hobonichi A6, which is my journal for 2021 uh, with a 2017 cover, the cloud cover. I don't recall the actual name. My uh, writing board, and i um, showing you some bits there that's uh, like a, it looks like a library card, but that's basically where I record the books I read throughout the year or the podcasts I listen to or audible books, anything of that nature. I write in there just as a fun way to keep track. There's the pen I'm using right now, which is my pilot vanishing point in fine. And it's inked with Noodler's Heart of Darkness. There is a pen sleeve from Cheek Sparrow and my Traveler's Notebook uh, clip. Here is my uh, Traveler's Company Olive Standard Size, which is super chunky. It's my chunkiest TN. I don't usually like to chunk them up this much, but this is a TN that holds ongoing projects and research. So it, it has quite a lot of information in there. Um, there are also some pens and pencils, some of my favorites, my Palominos, the Pearl and the, the softer lead one, which is the orange one from a couple of uh, years ago or months ago. Um, I also have the Traveler's Company pen and pencil and uh, the Fisher Space pen, which honestly I don't use. It's way too bold for me, but I just, I keep it because I'm a pen addict. What can I say? Here's the inside of the box and it has this super cool little stand things. I don't know the actual name, but basically you hook them into the top lid of your writing box and it becomes a little desk. And this is super, super convenient. And I have taken this on the road several times and it has worked beautifully. I absolutely love it. It's very, very useful. Here is how I use it to journal. Now, I don't use my writing box every single day, but it does get a lot of use throughout the week. Um, and like I said, I have traveled with it, especially on road trips. Um, that <laughs> drink in that bottle, I know it looks kind of funky, the color. It's my yerba mate tea, which is super delicious and I enjoy it all the time. So if you have any questions regarding the writing box, I understand it's sold out on their website right now, unfortunately, but leave your questions down below and I'll be happy to help. It's, I couldn't recommend that enough. It's absolutely beautiful. It's such a great piece to have. I know I'm gonna pass this on down to my children throughout the years. It's, I, I couldn't say enough. The craftsmanship, the, the wood that 
that they chose is so so beautiful mine specifically i've seen others that look a little bit different but mine just has this amazing green the only issue i've had so far is the inside leather flap that holds all your uh writing utensils utensils no your writing stuff um it over the past year it has come loose and it does flop down when i close it and i go to open it back up on the right side and um i've tried to fix it i use gorilla glue tape and it held up for a couple weeks but then it started becoming loose again but honestly i haven't contacted galen leather to see what they suggest i'm sure if i actually do some research and look into leather or wood glue it would be fixed so it's not a problem at all i just wanted to make you aware Thank you so, so, so much for joining me today. I hope you're safe. I hope you're well. I hope your loved ones are well. And I will see you next time. Bye.